You are tuned into the leading internet radio station in the mother city. Radio Yisrova. Radio Yisrovia. Radio Yisrova. Radio Yisrova. Makaya, single radio is river, Sifumanega kuzo zong social media platforms. Well, good morning to all our viewers on Facebook and on TikTok and those who listen to us on the app, uh, on the radio station's app. Um, you are most welcome this morning and uh, I am Dr. Graham Albertain and I am greeting you Yeah, on the couch with Doc. Can you believe it? It's again Thursday, 10 o'clock, same time, same place. 
And we are here on Radio Yestrava, onse stasi, onse talent vir ons mense. And we're coming to you live this morning um, on this Human Rights Day. Yes, it is Human Rights Day and we're going to really speak and tackle some issues with regards to human rights. And as we have promised, um, myself and Dr. Francois Swart, yes, you are right, it's the third Thursday of uh, March and Dr. Francois is back with me. Uh, he is my co-host and we will be talking right through this program for the next couple of um, minutes and um, we are going to tackle some some uh, complex issues this morning as we promised. Uh, last month we will be bringing to you and we'll be talking about um conflict and that is what the program is all about it is navigating conflict uh, it is so appropriate that we do it on human rights day dr francois it is so appropriate welcome this morning and good morning to you, you thank you be. thank you thank you all the listeners and my colleague here dr graham it's always a, prob- uh, uh, a privilege for me to be here today, and it's so lovely day outside. I hope you, uh, our listeners, as venture a little bit outside and so on. So much to be thankful of, and so on. And we uh, in each other's company, and we can talk about life. We can talk about uh, what is the things that hurts us and. Uh, We've got each other, and I really looking forward to the program today, and especially I think a very interesting subject that we've got, and uh, let's speak about it. Let's think with each other about it, uh, because I think uh, the subject this morning is applicable to everyone, everyone that is a human, everyone that has got a soul. I think you've been confronted one or another time in your life with this whole issue that Dr. Graham will uh, uh, just unwrap uh, to you this morning. But uh, really, it's a privilege again to be with you. Thank, Thank you. you, Dr. Francois. Uh, it is always a privilege to have you in the studio and we are here. And... Uh, you still ran this morning before you came to the studio. You still ran some race? Oh, yes. So wonderful. And that's why I'm talking about the nature and so on. Uh, there in the northern suburbs, there in Tiger Valley area and so on. A lot of people. I think about the 10,000 people. Uh, wow. There's a lot of them that run, you know, 16 uh, kilometers. Uh, I opt only for the six. But uh, I'm so grateful I've made it. I think you can give me a high five. Yes, yes, definitely, <laughs> definitely. Definitely giving you a high five doing the six kilometer run this morning. And here you are back in the studio with me uh, to be uh, talking about uh, navigating conflict. Um, and we will delve into uh, the complexities of this, of interpersonal and also global conf- conflict, um, as uh, we will first listen to a song that will be sung by Ryan Stevenson and uh, Eye of the Storm, Ryan Stevenson. And as you listen to this program, come on, uh, communicate with us on Facebook. It's holiday. It's... it's um, there's, there's a lot of people at home that normally don't listen to this program. Tell us where, you, where you're tuning in from, communicate with us, uh, say hi. We would like to hear from you and also give you a shout out on the air so that many people, even your friends, can know that you are watching or listening to us on Facebook, on the app or even there on TikTok. Uh, and uh, as you listen to us, grab your cup of coffee, grab your husband, your wife, grab even the children, make it a, the, for the following two, two hours, make it a family affair to sit and listen to this. How do you navigate conflict? It's not only um, adult people that go through conflict. It's not only uh, young people that go through conflict. It's also our children as, as early as three years old. 
they are also going through conflict and how to navigate through all of these and even in life in your workspace in South Africa as a whole how do we navigate this conflict grab a pen and paper grab your cell phone uh, tune in tell us where you're tuning in from and enjoy the song eye of the storm ryan stevenson Do you want to take your business to the next level? Advertise with Radio East River by emailing us at admin at radioeastriver.co.za. In the eye of the storm, you remain in control. And in the middle of the war, you guard my soul. You alone are the anchor when my sails are torn. Your love surrounds me in the eye of the storm. When the solid ground is falling out from underneath my feet. Between the black skies and my red eyes, I can barely see. When I realize I've been sold out by my friends and my family, I can feel the rain reminding me. In the eye of the storm, you remain in control. In the middle of the war, you guard my soul. You alone are the Your love surrounds me in the eye of the storm Mm -hmm. When my hopes and dreams are far from me and I'm running out of faith I see the future I picture slowly fade away And when the tears of pain and heartache are pouring down my face Find my peace in Jesus' name In the eye of the storm You remain in control In the middle of the war You guard my soul You alone are the anchor When my sails are torn Your love surrounds me says I've only got a few months left It's like a bitter pill I'm swallowing I can barely take a breath And when addiction steals my baby girl And there's nothing I can do My only hope is to trust you I trust you, Lord In the eye of the storm You remain in control you guard my soul You alone are the anchor My sails are torn Your love surrounds me In the eye of the storm You remain in control In the middle of the war You guard my soul You alone are the anchor My sails are torn
Mr. Brown, feeling down? Listen to the leading internet radio station in Cape Town. Verpletter plezier, luister naar Radio Eerste Vier. Dus ons stasie, onze talent en hele blij lekker, onze mensen. Yes, you are back on the airwaves of Radio Istrava, the leading radio station in Cape Town. And you can catch us also on Facebook and also you can check out our website www.radioistrava or one word dot co dot zere. It is also there that you can get uh, the app. And we want to say hello to Susan de Villiers who is watching on Facebook and also the Susala in Afrikaans so say the immer gewoon gewoonte luisteraar of uh, kyker Leticia Sols wat ook ingeskakel is en ons sê vir julle almal baie baie dankie dat julle ingeskakel het en ook baie welkom my Afrikaans is so prachtig vir ochend omdat het Human Rights Day is gaan ons om so bykie meng ons gaan die Afrikaans en ook die Engels gaan ons so bykie uh, met mekaar uh, saamvoeg op hier die Human Rights Day because we need to celebrate our diversity our diverse cultures our diverse uh, languages in our country we celebrating the humanness of 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 who we are and what we all about now dr francois why do we have conflict in the world god has not created this world to have conflict but why do we have just for a just in 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 a nutshell what what is your take on this why do we have conflict uh, Dr. Graham, ek wil daarom net sê, uh, so, so die leven nie boring gewees het uh, as uh, ons allemaal die selle was. Dat uh, ons allemaal die selle geleide maak, dat ons allemaal die selle lyk. Oh, die leven is so daarom dan boring gewees het. Absoluut, absoluut. Uh, diversity is so wonderful. The yes. fact that uh, we are not the same is so wonderful. We can enjoy uh, each other uh, others sort of uh, identity that is unique yes. and we have to celebrate the uniqueness Definitely. of everybody but you know uh, as an introduction remark in terms of our subject this morning uh, in this uh, various culture and as uh, Desmond Tutu has put it late Desmond Tutu we are the rainbow nation uh, we've got a calling, I think, to the world to show them how diversity can be celebrated. I think uh, if I've got it right, uh, you've talked and spoken about the various languages in South Africa. We've got nine or ten or eleven uh, uh, languages and so on. We really are the Rainbow Nation. But in that colorful uh, sort of uh, picture that we are painting, there lies the seed of conflict. Yes. The fact that we are not the same, there is also a difference between us. In the whole thing of conflict is the art how to go about in a constructive way yes. with our diversity. I think that is a good opening remark that we celebrate a conflict, and I think I can conclude, uh, Dr. Graham, this morning. Uh, I think conflict is creating new opportunities. And the very thing that I think is bad when you think about conflict, and uh, I think as you sit there as a listener on the couch, you, you may say in your self-talk, yeah, it's easy for you to say that, I'm constantly in my life in, in a conflict situation, and that's not lack A. Uh, that brings anxiety, it brings insecurity, it brings that I haven't got hope uh, for the future. But I think in uh, a conflict there is something like uh, you can bring to the front some positiveness in terms of the subject of conflict. Conflict is not always a negative thing. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's an opportunity to understand each other better yes. and to grow. 
There we go. There we go. It is to understand each other and to grow. And you also spoke about the diversities of our cultures and how beautiful it is, the Rainbow Nation, etc. But if we go back into, um, if we should start on the, I would, I wouldn't say the global, but the national, our, our nation as as a whole. It's Human Rights Day. And we need to navigate through conflict and some conflict, even in our diverse um, 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 makeup. Um, you have a lighter pigmentation than what I have, and 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 some of the um, uh, uh, s- uh, staff here at 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 the radio station, um, and and so we call you and classify you as white. I am being classified as mixed or colored um, someone else might be classified as black or Indian um, their nationality and so on and so we we in our diverse but if we look at the diverseness of of this the conflict also had its origin in in in, in such a diverse setup if we but just look at um, 1982, the forceful removals of the people in District 6 from from District 6 to the Cape Flats. They were torn apart, taken out of where they were birthed in District 6 and thrown into, um, into uh, 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 on the Cape Flats. In 1992, the Boipatong Massacre, mm. uh, uh, that is, uh, it stems out of conflict. Conflict with the educational system in 1976. And then the, 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 the student uprising in 1980. And then in 1989, there was a big uprising as well with the, with the notion and the transition of South Africa into a new democracy. That was just before Nelson Mandela was released and the repeal of all the, all the draconic laws and so on in, in, in South Africa. And I mean, I was, I was in the midst of um, most of, of besides 82 and, and 92, uh, that 76, 80 and 89, I was in the midst of those conflict situations. 89, I found myself on the pulpit being told at the, at the evening service that one of my matriculant students was killed in the black township. Mm-hmm. And uh, uh, working with the human rights uh, lawyers at that time in order to assist his mother and his parents and also the community. I also had to, the the conflict spilled over to the students at the school where I was called by the principal to say, Pastor, please come and and, and speak to the the students to calm down. But I was, it it was not only that, but also my, my church leadership. Uh, my district leadership and so on. Also, I was also in conflict with them because they did not see um, what was happening in the community. I was a pastor of the community at that time. And the conflict that was there, they could not see it uh, because the special branch at that time phoned them and asked, who is this guy that is uh, speaking to the school children? You know, and, and so these conflict situations in South Africa had its origin. What do you say about that, if we say, if we look at conflict in the world? Yeah, uh, Dr. Graham, it's so important. Uh, I think, uh, you know, you have to understand when you talk about uh, conflict, uh, especially in a South African context uh, and so on, it's all about storytelling. Yes. You know, I look at you... I can imagine uh, as you sit there on the couch, uh, our listeners l- uh, listening to us, every human being, every soul has got a story to tell about conflict. That is part and parcel of the human race. Yes. But I think uh, we must look the elephant in the room straight uh, in the eye. Yes. Uh, South African uh, uh, setup, the African setup is quite unique in the world. Yes. Uh, and we've got, uh, you've mentioned it, you can't talk about conflict without thinking 
about the history. Yes, yes. And, uh, you know, as Christians and followers of Jesus, um, that is very important. If you look at the Old Testament, the New Testament, it's good to look at the history. What can you gather uh, in terms of the stories of the history that you can take uh, heart from, uh, learn from what is history teaching us about the subject of conflict. And uh, we have to admit it, we've got that tragic history in South Africa. Definitely. And, uh, you know, I'm so grateful for you and I honor you for that, that you look this elephant in the room and, and, and you, t- you know, put out your head there and say, let's call it about this colored thing, mm. you know, and pigmentation. What? Sorry, but what the hell has gone, uh, has happened to us as humans, as soul, that we look to a fellow human in terms of, 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 of the color and the texture of his skin? And then we build a pyramid, and because I'm a little bit lighter, you know, I, I'm supposed to be on top of the pyramid. Where? Is this stuff coming from? Uh, uh, and that is very t- tragic. But I think uh, what is happening, the rainbow is there. Uh, I think uh, the whole problem with colored skins and textures and look at people from high above down to people in terms of the colored skin yes, yes. is all about leadership. Yes. We have to come together as leaders of the various groups and we must start talking about this nonsense. Yes. And we have to look at each other's eyes and recognize the soul in every human's eyes, uh, you know, and, and forget about the color thing. Uh, we are fellow humans. Yes. We definitely. are fellow souls. And therefore, I, I, I think it's wonderful on this radio station, on this lovely day that we've spoken about in the introductory remarks and so on, that we can tackle this very uh, painful subject of our country, but in a positive spirit. There we go. And uh, we can talk in, 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 in a new way to each yes, other. Yes, yes. I mean, uh, you and my friendship, uh, uh, and so on over the years. You, you're a, a student of mine, and uh, we, we've got some endeavors that we are working together, the, the Bible and life school and other things that we are working together. The brotherhood, I don't see uh, in, in, in you uh, a colored person or, or, or whatever. You're a brother. Yes, uh, amen. You know, you, you, uh, all of us, Uh, And I want to conclude, we can do it in South Africa. If we can carry along with pride, you know, the cup of the world in terms of rugby. Yes. We can do it. And I hope our sevens boys will come uh, to the party again. And what is going on there? We, we utilize the strong points of every part of our nation, all the tribes, all the colors, all what you want to, to talk about, and we, we unite them in one team. And I think uh, uh, our rugby team at this stage, under the leadership of uh, Rassi, and we congratulate him with his uh, doctorate and so on, uh, I think he is helping us uh, to give us ideas how to bring along the Rainbow Nation despite of our history yes, and yes. despite of our conflict. Thank you, Dr. Francois. That was a mouthful said, and, and the stage is set for us. It is so, um, um, as I'm listening to you, it is so profound that, that you, and, and, and if, 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 forgive me if I, if, if I say this, you, a, 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 a white privileged person, and me, a, a colored not have person can sit on a radio station today and sit and talk about 
human rights and humanity and conflict. And as you as as you spoke, um, I, I I said to myself, but if you look at humanity, if you look at humanity first and foremost, then humanity does not have any connotation of color, of creed, of race, of of affluence or or a poor nothing humanity is colorless humanity is um um that which you see without any facade or any painting or any mm-hmm. color nothing no texture no nothing that is what humanity is and and at the end of the day um we need to i think the world would have less conflict if we start seeing human for human a human being for human being whether you are what color or what race or coming from what nationality but you see the person for who he is and not for what he wears if i can call it that because the skin is what we wear is what i wear mm. the skin that you have is mm. what you wear but it's not you mm. you are inherently and you spoke about the soul your soul and if we look at how god created man first and foremost he created them according to the bible as a living soul mm mm the the covering only came afterwards afterwards they they detected when they became sinful in disalignment with god there was a covering that's why they covered themselves so there was a covering that came on which means that the contamination of the dust of the earth formulate into a covering which means a skin color mm-hmm. and then thereafter they recognize themselves as differences and that is where the differences came in that is why the first conflict situation was adam and eve with god and then the second conflict situation was cain and, and abel. abel that was the that is where actually conflict and the differences actually started that they realized hey now we different to what to 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 what god is cain and abel uh, uh cain realized that abel is different he worships different to to what i am and and that spilled over into humanity so humanity was actually contaminated right in the beginning and the first bill of rights was actually given by god not by man the first bill of rights was given by god in the garden of eden the first bill of rights was given by god when he said there is the earth you subdue it that multiply and also name everything that is there you have the right to be on the earth as human beings that was the first bill of rights given by That's god so to humanity and we changed it and we made it ourselves and say now we going to box people and say that you need to be here and you need to be there you need to stay there and stay there that was not the original plan of god the original plan of god was for us to subdue the earth to multiply and and to have the freedom of the world It's so wonderful to put I'm sit here in amazement and listen to you uh, uh colleague as you try to think what has happened to 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 humanity in terms of the subject of conflict and to, I think you've you've uh, uh hit the nail on its head and um uh I sit in amazement because I haven't think in that vain uh, but i like and i'm very uh, happy to hear the, the, you know the beginning of the bill of rights is beginning with god and where he calls us and as you mentioned it 
and say, you've got the world. And I think that's what I'm trying to say about leadership. And uh, unfortunately, our leadership and this calling that the Lord has given us, I think we spill a lot of things on the ground and uh, we, we make misery. And I want to summarize and conclude this section. You, you make a lot of about hum, uh, humanity. Uh, it's, it's human rights day today. I think we just have to rephrase it. What is human rights? You know, rights uh, from a certain viewpoint uh, uh, sounds arrogant. All my rights that I've got and so on. And the Bible is teaching us humbleness and so on. Therefore, I just want to make this observation. I think human rights refers to a other sort of love to each of others. To, 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 to have a space and to create space for other people so that they also can have a place under the sun. Yes, and uh, I think the other thing I just want to make a remark, we have to talk about rich and poor, especially in Africa. We have to, to talk about uh, previous uh, disadvantaged communities and privileged uh, communities. And I think uh, it's true that um, uh, the white community in Europe, you know, all over the world, uh, and black and brown, and you can name the, uh, the colors. What unfortunately happened in the political sphere, in the, uh, on, on society and community level, and so on, because we've got this lens is how we t look at people and don't see them as souls, and that's my preference. Humanity is a good word, but I like the word soul. Man, the word soul, there's no color, hey. Yes, uh, the yes. soul constitute character, uh, personality, yes. uh, uh, a spirit. Uh, the, the soul is very much more than something mysterious, you know, that is confined in yes. your body. Yes, yes, I yes. think we must have a program about what is, uh, what is soul constitute of. What is the definition of soul? But I think uh, our listeners has to understand soul has got a very much broader uh, understanding, yes. more than humanity. And uh, the day that we are celebrating today, uh, we can also coin it as Christian as a day of love, yes. as a day to create space for fellow neighbors, for fellow souls. And really, we've got something to celebrate today. Thank you, Dr. Francois, for capsulating that so beautifully. And I just want to, to uh, say hi to Desiree Damas, who is making profound comments here on, on, uh, on Facebook. Uh, uh, Dr. Francois uh, Swart, uh, the expression of our frustration about the topic of color. Thank you for, guide, for, for your guidance and positive outlook on the topic for sure. We as a nation can overcome this. And then she further says that we are an inspiration to, to all of uh, the people out there. Uh, thank you for embracing this, uh, this man-made thing uh, that we need to look at, uh, at the heart of each other. And then she also says, and we can do so if we have God in our hearts. Then she concludes by saying, and this is what Jesus says about, uh, about the uh, Bill of Rights that God instituted. Uh, he says, love your neighbor that's as the, yourself. That's the summary, yes. Th that's the summary of... That's the of, essence. That's the essence of, 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 of the Bill of Rights according to God. Love your neighbor as yourself. And because we need to love our neighbors as ourselves, we will go on to a music break and we will uh, listen to Give Me Your Peace. Gateway Worship sings Give Me Your Peace. And uh, oh, there's a slogan that, sh that says that there will not be any peace in the world unless God are seated at the conference table. And uh, so we are reaching out 
today on Human Rights Day and we say, give me your peace, Gateway Worship. Welcome to the leading internet radio station in the Mother City. There are many ways to stream our shows. Visit us on our Facebook page, live at Radio East River. Also, visit us on our website, www.radioeastriver.co.za or download the Radio East River app, available and supported on any and all smart devices. Radio East River, die dung ruk hier. I trade my fear for you. 
your peace Take it all Take it Yes, you are back with uh, me, Dr. Graham Albertain, your host this morning and also with Dr. Francois Swart in the studio. As you know, it is on the couch with Doc the third Thursday of every month, the two of us are here in uh, the studio. We are talking topics that most probably people don't want to talk about and also to give you information and also share with you how to tackle these topics or or issues. Um, And this morning we are navigating through conflict. And this is what we are talking about um, in our first segment, we spoke about uh, the country and, and the turmoil and the conflict, where it arises from and so on and so forth, and what we ought to do uh, in order to, to um, work and navigate our way through this conflict. We're in the election here, and yes, you have conflicting uh, uh, standpoints, etc., etc., but at the end of the day, what matters most? What matters most is that we as a nation comes together, stand together, build this nation, leave the guns, leave the the conflict and start building. Uh, the late Nelson Mandela had the vision of nation building, is to take the gun to the blacksmith, melt it, and create, cultivate for us uh, implements of, 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 of building, tools of building. Uh, 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 and, and this is what we're addressing this day on uh, Human Rights Day, how to navigate through conflict. And if you can navigate through conflict, we already have won the war. We already have won the war. Dr. Francois, tell us, it, it's, it's so profound um, uh, that the Gateway Worship uh, uh, singers sang this morning, give me, uh, give me your peace. And then they say, I have exchanged my fear for your peace. Now, conflict has different facets. Before, the, before we go over to the news with Lulama, let, let's talk about the different facets of conflict, the mm-hmm. different faces of conflict. How does the different faces of conflict look like? I think uh, it's very important. Uh, there's two basic comp- uh, components that we have to look at uh, 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 when we talk about conflict. There's an emotional part, and we tend to react on the emotion. Yes. Uh, people have got emotions, and therefore it's very important that we recognize people's frustration, irritation, and their emotions. And what the conflict is about, I don't like the way that you are presenting your emotions to me. Yes, you yes. know, in Afrikaans we say, you speak about the spookspot, the spookspot here on me. I can see you are so quiet for me. You know, um, uh, we tend to, to get stuck in the emotions. That's the first component. The second component in conflict, you have to listen to the reasoning of the person that is unhappy. The person that feels that things are not fair, things are not on par, uh, and try to understand, uh, climb in the other person's skin, climb in the other person's boots, and just for a moment, Try to understand the way of reasoning, the rationale of why the person is unhappy and why is there an atmosphere of conflict and uh, misunderstanding. Uh, I want the, to summarize, I think that's the two <coughs> components that you have to look all the time. Mm-hmm. Give time for the emotions. And I can remember... Uh, that uh, the late uh, Desmond Tutu sits and listens to the stories of people and so on. 
and he put his head on the table sometimes. Yes, yes. He openly look at the camera and he is crying. Uh, and on the other uh, hand, he was laughing about certain uh, situations. And uh, in the other hand, he has listened very carefully to the reason of the conflict and tried to understand why are we in this situation. Therefore, let's talk then about the three components. Recognize uh, the emotions. It helps a lot when you are in the conversation of conflict. Just not to talk about the reason for the moment, but just say to the person, I can understand, I, 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 I can see you don't feel like her. I can recognize that you are not in a good space. And it could be because of me, but I, I just want to recognize you, that I uh, honor your emotions. That is a very good departure point. And then you go into the arguments and the position that the person is taking and is it good or not and the pros and the cons of the argument uh, and, and so on that happens and play out in the political sphere or in the love environment, in a marriage context, or in a family yes, or in yes. a working environment. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's so profound that you say you need to climb into someone's skin and... Uh, get into someone else's boots. And while you were talking, I I I, I look again. Uh, we we now the other day when we when we discussed the program, um, I, I I brought this this uh, uh, analogy to you. There is a a a number on the ground. The number is six nine. Listen to what I'm saying. The number is six nine. Now, when you stand on the opposite of, at the tail end of, you can say, the nine, you, 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 you look at a nine. But when you stand at the head of the nine, you view it as a six. six. So my position... Mm. In many, a, in many a times, my position where I'm standing, and I, I, I love to say to people when I speak, from where I am sitting or from where I am standing, this is what I see. To make the person understand, this is my view of the situation. Your view of the situation might be a six my view of the situation might be a nine. And if we can get to that point where we understand or just swap roles or swap standpoints, we would understand each other. Because then, then, then we start to see, oh, this is what you see. That is what you see. Now come, let us, let, let us agree that this is a number, no matter what the number is. Oh, that's a wonderful story. I, 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 I'm urging to tell you this story, uh, Dr. Graham, and, and the listeners, you know, when I was a young kid, my mother was an artist. Uh, unfortunately, she, she, she departed too early in my life. I think she was 52 when she died and passed away. And we've got a close relationship. I can remember as a 12-year-old boy, I, I look at her, and in, in the hotel and so on, every year, uh, 35 uh, of her uh, uh, artistry and, and paintings and so on were on display and so on. And, uh, the, uh, you know, as a child, uh, we visit on a regular basis all the art museums and so on. And then I look at her, and this whole thing of positions that you are talking about, mm. the six and the nine, dependent on what side you are standing and look uh, on, on the six on the ground. Uh, if you stand on, on the bottom side, you see a six. If you stand on the other side, it's a nine. And then, you know, she's got this tendency, when she look at the painting to her artwork, she starts 
to, to, to stand right in front of it, about three meters. And then she makes her eyes big. And then she makes it like a Chinese, you know, Chinese eyes. Mm. And, you know, I stand there as a little boy in 12 in awe. And I look at her and I don't know what is go going on with my mum. <laughs> and then she, she walked two or three steps to the right-hand side. And then she repeats this thing. Look with big eyes and then with her eyes and so on. And can you believe it? Then she w walks right through the other side, the left-hand side of the painting. Mm. And, you know, I look at her and I think by myself, she's crazy. What is she doing? And I say, Mommy, what are you doing? You're looking to this painting Pulling from faces. all these faces. You are doing all these positions and so on. And then she tells me, you put me on her lap and say, you have to listen carefully now what I want to say mm, to you. Mm. If you look uh, 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 from a certain perspective to, uh, to an artwork, right in front of it, you must understand the light is falling a certain way on that paint. Yes. But yes. when you move to the right or to the left, yes. You get hold of a new perspective yeah. on what is the artist really conveying to you. Yes, yes. And you know, uh, Dr. Graham, that was one of the lessons that she teach me that I carry till this very moment in my life. When you are in situations, you must be careful for the position that you are taking in, that you are not stuck in a position. Yes. Can you divert a little bit to the left or to the right and get a new perspective on it. Yes, definitely, Dr. Francois. What a wonderful lesson of perspective. Wonderful. To always look at, at um, um, things from... Different positions. Different positions and not get stuck into the same positions. And sometimes um, we, in our conflict resolution or navigating through conflict, we get stuck into a certain position. Now, <clears throat> listeners, excuse me, we are going to go on a news break. Lulama Klassen will do the news for us uh, and then we will come back and still continue looking at the different uh, facets uh, of conflict and how we can identify it. Um, we will we we will listen to Lulama Klassen um, with the news now at eleven uh, in in a few minutes. He will bring the news to us. Tune in to the leading internet radio station in the mother city, Radio Easter River. For more information, log on to our website, which is www.radioesterriver.co.za. This is the news on Radio Easter River. In the latest news, two Cape Town security officers shot and killed. City of Cape Town may assist River Club multi-billion rand development to create thousands of jobs. And city completes two billion rand upgrade of Zan Fleet Waste Water Treatment Works. Good morning. Two security firm employees were shot in cold blooded earlier this week in Samora Michelle in Cape Town. According to reports, the two employees shopped on the side of the road when three suspects ambushed them. They were both shot in the head and they fled with firearms. Meanwhile, Community Police Forum spokesperson Bongani Mokungwana said the crime similar to the one that took place had not been reported for months. He then added that this is because they monitor the area for hijackings, smash and grabs, as well as robberies. Now the city of Cape Town sees the mega development worth over 4 billion rand on the backs of the Leesburg River 
has already created 6,000 job opportunities through its construction. It comes after Cape Town Mayor John Hurd Lewis said 19,000 more jobs will be created when the development is completed. He was speaking at the sod turning event of the development at the River Blank in Observatory yesterday. Indigenous communities including the Khoi and San groups fought the development due to the cultural significance of the grounds. The mayor said the site will pay homage to the history, while Western Cape Premier Alan Windy expressed gratitude for the development. While taking a look at the third story and still sticking with the Cape Town mayor, Jordan Hulu has accepted the final handover of the upgraded Zandvliet Wastewater Treatment Works from the construction contractor. The Zandvliet upgrade is one of the city's largest infrastructure projects to date, providing improved sanitation, particularly for low-income households in the metro's eastern region. According to the mayor, the upgrade increases treatment capacity from 72 to 90 million litres per day, helping to support a growing population and economy. The plant's effluent quality has also improved significantly thanks to cutting-edge membrane treatment technology that treats water to near portable levels. Hilo has then added that aside from increased capacity, the Zanfleet upgrade will ensure that high-quality treatment of fluid means meets all license requirements as outlined by the National Department of Water and Sanitation. And taking a look at the short international story, Russia launched a missile attack on Ukraine in Kiev earlier this morning, injuring at least 10 people and damaging residential buildings and industrial facilities. According to Reuters, the first large attack in recent weeks targeted the city with both ballistic and cruise, cruise missiles. Catch the next news update, news update at the top of the hour. Reporting to you from Radio Easter River, I am Lula McClassen. Do you want to take your business to the next level? Advertise with Radio Easter River by emailing us at admin at radioeasterriver.co.za. Yeah, 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 yeah. Moloe ne makaya. Single radio is river. Se fuma ne kakuzo zong social media platforms. Hey, Mr. Brown. Feeling down? Listen to the leading internet radio station in Cape Town. Verplante plezier. Listen na radio is te rafir. Dis ons stasie, ons het alleen en jylle bly lekker onse mense. Yes, you are back with me, Dr. Graham Albertain, on the couch with Doc and also with Dr. Francois back in the studio here with us. And uh, all our shows, all our shows are live on, uh, 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 are recorded and is made available on different platforms as podcasts. And you can listen to it on Spotify, YouTube, Deezer um, and, and so on. It's all there for you and you can also download our radio easter river app uh, from play store Huawei gallery and apple and then you can download it and listen to us and we are still here on this topic navigating through conflict and uh, we are speaking on uh, 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 on how the different facets of conflict and how can we identify it now, Dr. Francois, there's, there's different aspects of conflict. Sometimes I have conflict with myself. Um, I think we, we also spoke about um, some people have God conflict. Is there others that you can, that, that you, that you can mention or highlight uh, to our listeners? Yeah, I think it's very important. Uh, it's, a, it's a huge subject, this, and conflict is all over the place. You can, uh, as a, a toddler, you know, uh, when you're busy growing and so on, you come aware of yourself uh, and so on. You know, um, uh, I'm a, a grandfather at this stage, and I look at my grandchildren, they're under f- five in terms of age, you know, and it's difficult for them to share their, their dolls and, and the playing things and so on. They are so small 
but they've got conflict yes. between them. Yes. Then uh, we just heard on the news the conflict in Russia and the Ukraine. Yes. That is in, uh, in a, a huge scale where people is killing each other mm. uh, in a certain way. In our communities uh, uh, and so on. We know about guns and so on. But you've mentioned, uh, Dr. Graham, also the conflict we re- read in about that in the Bible also, in the Psalms, uh, half of the Psalms, uh, the, the worshipper is in conflict with God. Where yes. are you in my misery? Why am I so alone? Uh, David, uh, a hero of the Bible that kills uh, uh, Goliath and so on, he's struggling with God, uh, especially, uh, you know, you can be in conflict in terms of your looks, the phase of your life, the age that you are in, you can just, I refer to Psalm uh, 71 and 73, and you can see how the psalmist are struggling with life mm. uh, and is in conflict yes. with his situation. Marital uh, conflict, uh, uh, colleagues in terms of a work environment, yes. in the year in terms of a political violence uh, uh, and so on. Different pers- uh, perspectives on what is the best solution to go f- uh, ahead with, with the South African uh, society and so on. Therefore, I think a conflict is part and parcel of life. And that's why it's so great to have a program of two hours and uh, bear with us. And, and let's talk about the subject uh, uh, it's part and parcel of your life, and there is a constructive way how to 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 go into conflict, and there is a deconstructive way to do it. To do, and, yeah. and and we want to to come uh, uh, with a positive way of going about this conflict in general. Thank you, Dr. Francois. That is the different facets. So meaning that um, we can even in ourselves can be conflicted. Um, 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 people speak of, of, I have mixed emotions, meaning that there is a conflict of good and bad within us. Um, um, I am sad, but I'm also happy. Um, um, it's, 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 it's conflict within ourselves. And uh, when you were talking about um, you're not satisfied, and many people are not satisfied with the way God has created them. They try and redo the work of God with the nose job and so on and so forth, make them cosmetically uh, more attractive, more beautiful as to their perspective and their understanding. Um, But at the end of the day, a person needs to be accepted the way God has created them. And uh, we need to uh, look at all these things and identify. I think, Dr. Francois, you would agree with me that we need to start by identifying the conflict. I think that's very important. We must, what is the thing that cause uh, 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 conflict in the first place? Uh, I think sin is playing a role. Uh, you've mentioned uh, uh, Cain and Abel. Jealousy makes you nasty. We all know that slogan. Yes. Uh, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a quite of emotion that you don't uh, 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 want somebody to be happy and just make that person's life miserable and so on. That comes from a, 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 a deep, a darkness in you to create havoc uh, and so yes, on. And yes. that creates then conflict. But there's other sort of com- conflict, uh, the haves and the have-nots. We've spoken about that. Yes. When you haven't got enough money uh, and so on and you, you're struggling to get hold of, 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 of for your family, for, for, for food on the table and so on, and you walk through the shops and so on, see all the foods and you can't get hold of, of work uh, and the decent wage and so on, that creates conflict. You know, in South African context, I think between 25 and 35% people are seeking work. 
They, they want to work, but they can't get hold of work because there is not enough work. And uh, that is why leadership is so important, to yes, create yes. spaces where people can bring their talents. Uh, you know, the slogan of the station is on the stars here, our talents, our people, and the leadership uh, must come to the party. I think the other thing, you make the remark, we, we haven't got a problem uh, that, that ladies are making themselves beautiful uh, and so on. But to be in a, in a constant conflict uh, in terms of how you look uh, and so on, that is the other part uh, of conflict that uh, we must uh, talk about. Uh, I think the other very important thing is expectations. Yes, yes. When you've got certain expectations, and is your expectation realistic, especially in, in, in a marriage situation uh, check out your expectations your expectations of life it could be too high it could be too low and so on is it balanced and therefore um, i think there's various aspects of conflict that is to do with the sphere in economics yes. in the sphere of uh, uh, um, uh, bullies around you social uh, 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 behavior patterns that is not on that creates it. Uh, it's 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 the metaphor in the Bible, the conflict between light and darkness yes, yes. all the time. Yeah, uh, uh, and uh, and sin. There's various things, but there's also the thing of of um, people that is uh, really has got their own agendas. They're serving only their egos. It's, uh, it's only their sort of interests uh, 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 and so on. And therefore, we must keep on talking to each other. Uh, and that's what this day is all about, is the Bill of Rights uh, that have to, uh, you know, th that help us, everyone in the conversation, we must, you know, abide by the Bill of Rights. Yes. Because that puts us in a space where, where, where the, uh, uh, the conversation uh, about conflict uh, can be civilized. Thank you, Dr. Francois, for, for that insight with regards to uh, the different facets of conflict and how we can identify it. And I want to uh, also greet someone special all the way from Australia, uh, Dimitri uh, Pretorius, thank you for watching, my friend. Hi, Nadine, and I, and I hope uh, Callan is fine. Uh, you are all greeted there in Australia, and uh, um, I'm so glad that you are watching. Uh, Desiree Damas is uh, chatting away. Beautiful, Dr. Francois, uh, putting things into perspective for us. Uh, we need to get our angle right. And... Uh, so having said that, we, we must get our angle right. Um, Graham Kendrick uh, is going to sing to us as we go on to this music break. Uh, Beauty for brokenness. Uh, we are all broken, but God has given us beauty for brokenness. Graham Kendrick uh, will sing to us uh, this song. Have you been dreaming of buying a new home? Look no further than Central Blue in Blue Downs. Choose from freestanding homes, townhouses, duplexes and apartments. Contact us today. Visit our website at centralblue.co.za. Call us on 087-096-0962 or send us an email at sales at centralblue.co.za. Safe and quality lifestyle at affordable prices. Joy, peace, 
sunrise to sunset, your kingdom increase. Shelter for fragile hearts, cures for the ills, work for the craftsmen, trades for their skills, land for the dispossessed, rights for From cruel walls, havens from fear, see his for century, freedoms to share, east to the killing fields, scorched earth to green, Christ for the bitterness, his cross for the Compassion we pray Melt our cold hearts The cheers fall like rain Come change our love From a spark to a flame Rest for the ravaged earth Oceans and streams Plundered and poisoned a future of dreams Lord and I madness Carelessness greed Make us content with The things that we need God of the poor Friend of the weak Give us compassion We pray Melt our cold hearts The cheers for Change our love from a spark to a flame. Lighten our darkness, breathe on this flame until your justice burns brightly again. Until the nations learn of your ways, seek your salvation. Rafir, onze stasi, onze talent, onze mensen. WhatsApp ons by 064 536 9095. Talk to us, die dang ruk hier. Yes, change our love from a spark to a flame. Jesus Christ being the comforter and also the um ek wil dit nou amper in Afrikaans sê dit gaan baie mooier klink hy is die kampvechter van die gebrokenes en van hulle wat uh, uh, arm is so he, he, is, he is coming to the aid of the poor he, he 
the, the song says we need to be filled with compassion um um and and, so and and that is of utmost importance dr francois tell me we speaking about conflict and navigating conflict now what is the primary causes of conflict why why do we we, we had spoken a lot about differences and our diversities and the angles that we that we need to look at um 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 we need to look at from the different perspective you also relate uh to a story or or, or the narrative of of your your mother your late mother as to the uh, uh, the lesson that she taught you at at the age of 12 but in our sphere as to where we are in in our different areas and and different facets of our lives um what are the primary causes of conflict yeah and i'm so i i want to add uh, in terms of your remarks of compassion and that's also the answer for this question uh you know if you look at the word compassion the root of the word compassion constitutes company yes company to show compassion is to say i'm prepared from my side to give you time and be in your company i will be in your space i will be there for you yes and yes. i think the problem of our rainbow nation we don't listen to each other dr graham that is our pro- problem we don't prioritize some time yes. to sit and listen to each other to do stuff together yes. uh, the wonderful thing of this morning you know when i've been in a race of about 6 kilometers is something stupid but we are talking about this uh, you know it's it, it's a, it's a fun run and to walk and so on but the diversity of the people and especially this morning the marshals had str- uh, struck me you know and they they are uh, uh, part of the rainbow nation and they their duty is only to 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 carry a flag yes. and show the runners and the walkers the road yeah but whilst they doing the, the, that they encourage and they shout and you're doing good in it's only 1 kil- kilometer and then you know you've got downhill uh, and so on seeking each other's company it's very easy dr graham yeah, to yeah. talk over people yes to yes. talk about the people in the townships yeah. to talk about people there and there and so on it's a whole other story to sit in the company of each other look each other in the eye and say talk to me yeah. i want to listen to, to your heart yeah, about yeah. your happiness let's talk about ways how we can make our little town uh, our little space where we are living together a happy place for everybody yes and it starts to seek uh, each other's company mm-hmm. and start talking about it yes. therefore my short answer will be we we tend to talk a lot about all the bad things in south africa but i think it's very important that uh, let's come around the table and let the conflict start but in a civilized way and let the emotions overflow and give time there's there's some people that has got the skill sets how to navigate that is part and parcel of our subject of our program uh, today yes, yes. how to navigate through this emotions it's good that people cry it's good but i want to conclude this i think a very important thing also why there is conflict it's all about noise levels who of 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 the people involved in the conflict can make the, the most, most noise. noise yes and you know if you listen carefully to the story of the bible when when people becomes loud you must concentrate to go soft mm. in your voice yeah and i want to conclude let's take this situation in in the household 
with your little kids and so on. They've got meltdowns and going loud, you know, and so on. And I dare the father and mother. The next time that your child is going loud, and you know, it's it's so easy for me. I'm 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 1.9 uh, uh, meters. You know, you are three four times bigger than your grandchild. Yeah. And if he or she thinks she can make a hell of a noise, you can give her a go, you know. And because you're the man, you've got this voice, you can overrun her and shout more loud than yeah. her. Yeah. But we work with the principle, why is there conflict? There's too much noise. Yes. We must go low. And really what you have to do with your little child, and I dare the fathers and mothers do that the first time when there's conflict. They are not uh, in a lack of space and they're, they're busy with their tantrum and so on. Sit on the ground with them. Let your face be on the same level as, as theirs. Don't talk from a high point to them. Don't try to talk louder uh, 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 than uh, them and go softer mm. and say I want to listen to you and recognize I yes. can see you not in a lack of space man let's talk about it and when you lower your voice the atmosphere in the room is changing Yes, and yes. the conflict energy is dying slowly and then there come opportunities to rectify the situation. Great analogy, Dr. Francois, of, of, of how you um, um, need to listen to, 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 to someone else in their conflicting situation. And it is so, and, and while you were talking, it is so profound that um, any tantrum, whether it is from a toddler, yeah. Whether it is from a teenager, whether it is in an adult, with an adult relationship or a marital relationship, or even in the country, in the political arena, any tantrum has an origin, has a reason why a tantrum is being thrown. If we look at students that's in conflict with the Department of Education, say for instance, we, we need to go and look why are the students unhappy? Because there's an unhappiness. Mm. And an unhappiness causes conflict, which means I am, I am conflicting with where I am at or I am conflicting with what is being presented to me. So we need to look at, and as you rightfully said, we need to understand on the same level, putting on the boots, doing the numbers game, the 6-9, changing our perspective, and then coming up with a solution. You spoke about happiness and happy place. I, I read now in the week that Finland is the happiest country uh, in the world than Denmark and, 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 and Sweden, uh, one, two, three. Um, Israel is number seven. Um, South Africa on, on, on the scale is, I think, 143rd. Oh, uh, that's the happiest. Uh, <laughs> that is where we rank in our happiness. Now, if you look at number one and number... 143 as South Africa. What, what does it say? That there is a lot of conflict in our, our country, amongst ourselves, that we are not happy people. So we are conflicting. And some way, somehow, we need to go and look, why are we conflicted? What is the primary reason for us to be conflicted within ourselves, within our, our country, with one another, how we, how we, how we do that? Uh, and, and the causes, we need to go and identify 
the causes of uh, of that conflict do you uh, do you still have anything to add i think so i think so i think the words that comes to mind i think is three concepts the first one there is something like is a situation fair or not yes is there something like a, a structural unfairness mm. and unfortunately in the south african history context the apartheid uh, you know uh, uh, the, the history that we've got and so on uh, 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 some structures in the society uh, if you really look critical to it uh, it constitutes an unfairness yes and, and that brings about then uh, certain reactions of people Therefore, I think the first thing is, is, is a very basic thing. Just ask yourself, uh, in terms of the Bible's principle, where you have to, uh, uh, um, you know, what you dream for yourself, yes. you yes. also must dream uh, and give the space for other people to dream for themselves. There we go. Uh, and, uh, and give them space to have dreams. Yes. And that is in my second thing. Is there still something constructive and positive to live for? Mm -hmm. And in most of our communities, they, they is so a struggling uh, about hunger and basic foods and economic uh, situation. And uh, what can the community do to make things uh, uh, more accessible for our people yeah. uh, and so on? You know, if you th think in terms of, 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 of the working environment, some of our people uh, have to work in, 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 in a part of the peninsula, for instance. But you know, Doc Graham, they, they have to raise up uh, at half past four in the morning. Yes, yes. And then they have to come out of a township or something, and then they have to catch the, you know, I think they talk about the kokarot in the first place, and then a taxi, uh, another taxi, <laughs> and then they have to come to Belleville, and then they have to catch a bus, uh, and so on. Uh, uh, and, you know, and... Uh, it's, it's about an hour and a half, two hours drive to, 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 to their working yes, place. Yes, And the whole thing is repeated himself uh, in the late in the afternoons evening. and in the evenings and so on. Is that fair? And that's, uh, I think we've got a problem with leadership, uh, that leaders must come together. And all the various civil societies, the church communities, the yes. municipalities, uh, uh, leaders, you can do in your street, you can have a braai, and uh, you can know each other, and seeking each other's company, listen to each other, and I understand, you know, I look uh, on, on, on CakeNet and so on, there is some communities that just come together and say, you know, this roundabout uh, in, in the middle of the town, we want to to plant f flowers there. Yes, yes. Uh, we come one Saturday, bring your, your, your what is it, your graf and your puck, uh, shovel and so on, and let's do something. I think uh, there's a much uh, a goodwill in our country yes. that is waiting uh, just that we utilize it. But then uh, we've got the lack of leadership. And it could be that people are afraid, and afraidness, and the fact that I don't know what the future holds for me, that creates conflict, and it, it brings that people feel there's no hope. Uh, uh, and then, oh man, they do, they, they vandalize everything uh, because they are frustrated. Yes, thank you, Dr. Francois, uh, for that insight with regards to the primary causes of conflict and how, um, uh, what we can do with regards to that. We will go on a music break and the peace of Christ, Tommy Walker, will sing to us the peace of Christ. I said earlier on, there will not be any peace unless God is seated at the conference table. Um, um, 
this conflict in in Israel between Israel and Palestine and Gaza there is conflict between Russia and and Ukraine there is other conflicts around the world up in Africa there in on the African continent there is conflict nations rise up against nations and everyone is in conflict because we want to dominate one another uh, we want to show each other how superior we are and instead of reaching out to each other and how we can help and assist building one another i i i listened to um the former president tabum beke when he spoke about the african renaissance and how we should how we should empower africa to rise above this darkness that are being portrayed of africa and we need to that is a conflicted situation that africa is this dark continent but when we look at the renaissance of of africa we need to we need to rise above we need to become the light of the world but it can only be possible if we have the peace of christ with us let's listen uh, to tommy walker as he sings to us the peace of christ ready is rover radio is rover radio is rover ready is rover
our people. Tidang Raki. Yes, Our station, our talent, our people. Tidang Raki. You are listening to Radio Yesterova. Yes, you are back on the couch with Doc. And uh, we are in the last few segments of uh, uh, what we need to do uh, and what we're talking about, navigating through conflict. And um, I want to again come to the, the following. How do we resolve the identified conflict. If you have identified the conflict or a conflicted situation, how do we go about to resolve that? And then after that, we will, we will, um, I will give you an opportunity to give uh, the listeners some tools uh, uh, that can help to navigate through conflict. I think the important thing, we can start with uh, Scripture and the Bible. But of course, the Bible is quite uh, straight in terms of how to go about with conflict. I think you, in the first place, recognize that there is indifference. Yes. Uh, don't uh, just shovel it under the carpet and say, it's not true, you know, recognize it. Then the important thing, check your emotions, give yourself space to be emotional about it. Then the, the third thing is uh, that you um, uh, uh, start thinking about various ways to tackle the situation. It's all about your creativity. And then I want to come to the principle of uh, Scripture. The person or the situation that you've got problems with, Try to, to get hold of a constructive uh, uh, sort of communication uh, and conversation about what brings the indifference between you. Now, the Bible has helped us. You go from uh, as neighbors to each other and try to resolve it in a personal way. If that isn't bringing a bear f- uh, uh, fruit, in, in, in a positive way, then you must get hold of a third party, uh, somebody that can come in and mediate yes. for you. Yes. So that person's role is to make sure that you guys hear each other. There we go. Do you understand each other's feelings? It's not, it's not, well, she's not there uh, to, to, to say who's the winner. Yeah. Uh, the person's uh, role is to create a space where there is fairness and that we hear each other out yes. properly. Yes. Uh, uh, the emotion side as well as uh, 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 the reasoning about the unhappiness. And then it's very easy to struggle. It's very yes. easy to be, you know... Uh, 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 angry, and so on. But the third part in terms of conflict, if you are happy and you understand it and you understand the emotions and you hear all the arguments, you must come to the table with a minimum three resolutions from your side. Yes, yes. And we've spoken about the position that you are taking in. You can't say, this is my position, I won't shift an inch, uh, you know, uh, that, that is it, take it or, or leave. leave it. You must come to the table, and uh, we utilize the word consensus. How do you reach consensus? You can say, you know, I will be happy in this circumstances. I've got a preference uh, uh, for, for, for this is the uh, resolution here and so on. But there's two other ways I also think uh, can work for me. And then you put it on the table. You see, when you come to, to the table with three positions uh, and not only one position, and the other party is coming with his or him uh, or hers uh, three positions. Then suddenly you've got six positions. Yes. How to resolve 
this conflict situation. Yeah. And that's where the creativity is, is starting and the openness and the conversation. So, you know, I haven't think of that perspective. Yeah. Yeah. Now that you are mentioning it, yes, I can put it and I can make an auxiliary from that. It can be augmented in a sense, my, uh, in a sense, my own uh, 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 viewpoint. Yes. Uh, and, and then uh, the conversation is starting, I think, in a more constructive Con- way. Constructive way. Thank you, Dr. Frantra. Yes, that is so profound where you are mentioning as to how we can resolve the conflict. It's not, uh, when you come to the table, it's not concretized and not uh, uh, cast in stone. stone. That's um, I think our country and um, um, uh, the negotiators prior to, to 1994, 92, 93, when they negotiated and Codesa, Codesa. Uh, 1 and 2 and so on, it, it, it was all the political players in one room sat down, speak to each other, say this is where we are at. This is how we see it. And uh, our current president, uh, uh, Cyril Ramaphosa, was one of the instrumental uh, people in, in, in understanding and taking on. The other party was Rulf Meyer, who is the architects. They are actually the architects of, of the de- democracy that we, that we have today. Um, um, with with the figureheads and so on that that was there, but they were uh, uh, part and parcel of making sure and ensuring that um, um, we have or the the negotiations goes into a constructive okay. in a destructive way. I just want to bring to the listeners and to the viewers uh, the point that. Dr. Francois made on the principle, the, 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 the principle of conflict resolution according to the Bible. And we were speak, you were speaking on the Matthew 8, 18 principle. Oh, that's right. Where the two of you first and foremost try and resolve oh. the conflict and then thereafter getting a, a third party. And if the, if the, uh, um, if the matter's not been resolved by the third party, coming in as in mediating, we need to bring it to a bigger forum right. where there is right. more people that can look at the different perspectives and, and listening to, to one another. That's so good. Uh, I'm so glad that you, you just expand a little bit on that idea. I think uh, there's other things, that, uh, just in conclusion, how to go about uh, with, with conflict uh, and so on. We make... Uh, uh, a lot of the argument being touched with your emotions and so on. But there is something like a, a space that we call a cool off period. Yes. You know that you are so engulfed with and your rage. emotions and so And you're irrational in yes. terms of your expectations of the situation. Just cool it for a while. Yeah. And therefore, I want to conclude this five in ordinary sort of uh, uh, conflict situation, domestic, uh, in family, in, uh, uh, in a uh, situation at the work, uh, in your marriage life, and so on. The first very important thing, don't process in the moment. That's the first principle. Don't process in, in the, the moment. moment, you can count to 10 and all that, but be aware of that. What's the second one? Don't process in the moment. And the third one, don't process in the moment. Because you know what happens to your body structure when you are uh, in conflict, you, you are pumping a lot of uh, bad hormones. You know, you want to fight. Uh, 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 adrenaline is flowing and, uh, and so on and we've spoken about when they go loud you go soft uh, keep down the adrenaline levels yes, and yes. so on and the way that you are doing is you can inhale exhale properly get oxygen over your brain uh, make uh, a space for the cool off period yes, uh, and yes. so on let's think about let's sleep about it uh, let's make an appointment 
Is that all right with you? And then we meet in two days' time. Yes. Uh, okay. okay. Can you put uh, your feelings in writing? That will be very uh, wonderful. Then I can read through it and so on, and I can uh, ponder on it yes. And, uh, yes. and, and so on. Uh, to, to write down your feelings and your various pers perspectives in a conflict situation can be also uh, very uh, wonderful. The, four, the first one, don't process the moment. Second one, don't process the moment. Third one, don't process the moment. Uh, the fourth one, don't intimidate each other with your body language. Yeah. Uh, the body language. Uh, our body language is contradicting our argument yes. in, very, uh, in various circumstances. Uh, stone face is good. Poker face, all your card players there outside... You poker face, you know, you know that one, eh? Uh, um, don't uh, be, uh, you know, uh, so talkative with your body language. While the person is putting his argument on the table, your face is showing that you are smelling something that is not good, you know. Smelling a rat. Uh, yeah, and, uh, you know, that's, that's quite intimidating. You are not saying a word. But you are not creating a space mm -hmm. where the person feels that he can, he can put his case without your body language busy intimidating yes, uh, yes. the person. And then the other thing is when a person is busy talking to you, look at the eyes. The eyes is very sharp and blitz and... Uh, and so on. You know, the eyes are the windows of the soul. Yes. And sometimes it's a good idea not to look at the person in the sense you look at him while he's doing his thing, but you ask him permission whilst you're talking. Have you got a problem if I just make notes what you are saying? Yes. Uh, and the reason why I want to make notes is that I just want to make sure that I follow your argument, right? And I want to, uh, uh, after you have put your case on the table, I want to repeat it to you so that you can hear how I understand you. Yeah. So that you can understand how I hear you. Yes. Uh, and then that is very helpful. You repeat then, uh, paraphrase or summarize what the person has just saying to you mm -hmm. without your argument into it. Yes. You're just giving, that's, you reflect, you mirroring. We're talking about narrative therapy, about you mirroring only what the person has said. And when the person is saying, yes, you've heard me, then you go to your argument. Uh, and uh, I want to conclude a very handy thing in counseling and so on. I've got on my table, I don't know in Afrikaans, you know. Yeah. Hourglass. Uh, what is that? It's an hourglass. Yeah, hourglass. A three-minute hourglass. You know, for the egg cooker and so on, three minutes. Then you know how hot is the egg cooked and so on. Now, that hourglass is very handy in conflict. You, you put that in, in the three minutes. I think I've got a three or four and a five minutes one. But we engage with the couples, especially in the three minute one. Okay, you've got three minutes. Put your case. I, 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 I will not interrupt you because this is your three minutes. I will make notes and so on. And after the three minutes has run through the sand or something like that, then you turn it. Now it's my three minutes. And then you say back to the person what you have heard. And you give, at the end of your three minutes, the person the chance to say, yes, uh, to validate what you have said. And say, yes, you've heard me. Mm -hmm. uh, and so the conversation is starting. You turn that thing 20 times. 20 times three minutes is an hour. If you, in an hour's time, can't, Get to a settlement. You have to bring in a professional person, uh, a mediator, uh, a third party, because then there's something lacking in your com communication. Dr. Francois, I want to thank you for your wise words today. Thank you that we can speak on conflict and uh, the tools that you have given to, to us as, as, as listeners and our viewers out there on 
Facebook and on TikTok and those who listen to us on <coughs> on the radio uh, app. Uh, thank you that we could be in your space and uh, thank you for those who were, who were watching and contributing uh, Desiree Damas and also Leticia and Dimitri and all the others that were listening to us and viewing uh, uh, us on Facebook. We appreciate you uh, on this uh, Human Rights Day and today we want to say let us celebrate humanity. Let us celebrate our diversity. But most of all, let us not put each other in a box and then make our own viewpoints with regards to the label that we have placed and put and sealed the box with. May God be with you. May God love you. And as you go out there and love your neighbor uh, from this day on, and we will fulfill the promises and also the commandments of God. And as we will play out uh, with the song, Lord, you hear the cry. Geraldine Latty will sing to us as we play out. Goodbye until next Thursday. Same time, same place. Radio Yestrava, the best radio station in the mother city. God bless you. Ya, 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 Mulu ene makaya, singu radio is river, sifuma nega kuzo zongi social media platforms.
Our station, our talent, our people. Tidang Raki.